When I was recently doing some research for Thanksgiving this year, I noticed that there's already quite a few cross-niche designs between turkeys and gaming that are starting to do well even though it's still about a month until Thanksgiving. So I decided I'm going to try create a design for this sort of cross-niching as well. I went to Vexos actually for this to request a design by their professional designers. I let them know what I wanted. Basically I wanted to go with the, the popular sort of dabbing turkey style or dabbing animal style and have the, the turkey holding a gaming controller. I also attached an example of the sort of style I wanted. I wanted that sort of cool high quality illustration style you sometimes see doing really well even just on its own without any text. It took about a week or so and this is what Vexels came back to me with. So I think this design looks really great. It's basically what I imagined. Um, it has a really nice illustration style and I'm going to download this and not just use it on its own but also add some text to it. You, you can obviously get quite creative here. Um, there's lots of different sort of Thanksgiving phrases which you could probably insert gaming into. So I've opened up the file right here in Illustrator and just moved the turkey onto a separate document. If you want to follow along and use this turkey yourself in any of your designs then there will be a link in the description to this exact uh, graphic. In case you missed my last video, Vex is also running a sale at the moment that lasts until the 31st of October. So do take advantage of that while it lasts. It's up to 43% off. With this design, basically what I want to do is I want to add gamer along the top and turkey along the bottom because that's sort of a popular phrase that I've seen a few times. You could also use other ideas such as you could maybe say happy thanks gaming or I paused my game to be here, stuff like that. That sort of makes it a funny twist for a, for a gamer to wear on Thanksgiving. So let's get started with a text layer. Click onto the artboard, size this up a bit. One font that I found recently that I quite like is called Don Jose Black. So I'm going to use that and write gamer up here for the top, pull it down and write turkey down here. And I think I want to match the color of this text to a color on our turkey, something like that. That looks quite good. I think it'd also be a good idea to give this top piece of text a bit of an effect because the shape of the turkey along the top is sort of rounded. So maybe we can make the text follow that shape a little bit by heading over to object, envelope distort, make with warp. Then I'm going to change the style over here to arc lower and then move the bend down to about 18%. Hit OK and then just draw this box down right here at the bottom. Stretch the letters back out a bit so you can read them easier. I want to have the turkey in front of a text at the moment as you can see the wing is behind the letter. So to do that select the turkey, hit Control Shift, closing bracket on your keyboard and then we can have this overlapping a little bit that always looks quite nice still want the word gamer to be readable though so you have to be careful there and if you zoom out make sure that you can still read that word very easily which i think you can in our case and let's just see if turkey is sort of the same size as gamer yes it is maybe make it a little bit bigger and then we can select both of these text layers go to object expand hit ok and then i just want to make sure that everything is aligned to the center so select all of your objects and make sure this right here says align to artboard and then you can hit horizontal align center i think what i'm also going to show you right now is an extra step in photoshop for those of you who have photoshop as well to add a bit of a sort of white texture overlay onto this design, which is a step that I sometimes do. You don't have to, you can do variations as well, some with, some without texture, just to see what works better for you. But let's uh, move this design over to Photoshop. So I've dragged the design into here. I'll just turn off the black background layer and I will open up a texture file quickly. We'll also link to that file in the description if you want to download it yourself. It's a PNG sort of halftone texture, which does look really nice. But in this case, it's going to be easier to see what it looks like, especially on this dark text, if we change the color to white. Um, because most likely, if I just add a a solid color here. Most likely our design is going to be shown on a 
white t-shirt. Go to the last panel to where it says texture, right click onto that, then head to blending options right here at the top. Just click color overlay and mine is already set to white. You might have to change this to blend mode normal and obviously change this color to white right here. Make sure the opacity is at 100% and then you can move this texture around, turn it on its side. Don't have it too harsh on the text once again because we want people to be able to read the text but it does look really nice overlaid onto parts of this graph so move that around a little bit until you feel it looks good and then you have two options you could well first of all turn off your background layer if you have one like me um, you could first of all while holding down control click on the graphic which is the vector smart object over here click onto that while holding down control and then while having the texture layer selected click on this little symbol down here in the layers panel which says add layer mask and that way we've added a mask which now hides all of the texture which is outside of the design this way we still however have sort of white dots all over the place if we want to have this texture cut out of the design so that the t-shirt color bleeds through then you'd have to do this a different way we just go back a few steps uh, you would then have to hold control once again click onto the texture this time then head over to select Select and click inverse. Select the vector smart object or your design layer. Once again, add a layer mask at the bottom of the layer panel. And now if I turn on the black, oh, we need to turn off the texture layer first, sorry. So if I now turn this black background layer on, you can see the black color bleeds through. If I turn on the white background color, the white color bleeds through. So whatever t-shirt basically the person selects, um, the texture will be cut out and the t-shirt color will shine through if you erase the, the texture in this manner. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new. And uh, once again, don't forget there's a sale currently just for another couple of days happening on Vexels where you can get annual and lifetime subscriptions for a massive discount. Just use the link in the description to see their pricing. And if you want to see an entire walkthrough of the Vexels website, then make sure to check out this video next because they also have some cool features such as a mock-up generator, t-shirt maker, and obviously lots and lots of high quality graphics. Mm -hmm.